All right, before we dive into this specific question, let me just give you a little background on what these are. I call these the outline questions because very obviously there is an outline on the left side, but I never look at that outline, okay? These questions are not testing whether you can summarize those particular facts. The question is everything that matters. They're going to, in this literal question here, give us an instruction about the kind of sentence that they want. All of the sentences will be factually true based on those bullet points, but we don't care about that. We're not evaluating true and false. We're evaluating whether or not the sentence does what the SAT is instructing us to do. These questions are really important to understand because they are always gonna be last, but they're very, very easy. The reason people get them wrong is they don't save time for them. So they are uh, doing all this work on the passage questions. They don't save time for these easier questions at the end. They end up rushing. They end up making careless mistakes, or they just don't don't know what the, they're being asked, so they think that these questions are more complicated than they actually are. So let's just dive in, and I think you'll see what I mean. The student wants to specify the location of Tetisiphon, right? So my sentence needs to have the location. Which choice must effectively use relevant information from the notes to accomplish this goal? That part's always the same. So the Sassanian Empire began in AD 20, 224 and ended in AD 651. Where is this city, or whatever it is? I don't know, it doesn't say in that sentence. So I don't care when this empire began or whatever, it's not part of the question, it's not what I was asked to do. The capital of the Sasanian Empire, which spanned 1.4 million square miles, was Ctesiphon. Well, it's talking about that, so that's good, but is it really saying where it is? It's saying how big it is, but I don't, uh, I don't think so. Oh, actually, it's not even doing that. It's, it's describing how big the empire is. Uh, so it's not even really talking about the, the city's size. So this is, again, wrong. It's not giving us the location. The Sasanians controlled an area of 1.4 million square miles, including present-day Iran and Iraq. Again, we've got nothing about the city. So hopefully D. Kadesaphon, the capital of the Sasanian Empire, was located near present-day Baghdad, Iraq. I mean, I told you these were easy. Right, it literally says specify the location, and this says it's located in near uh, Baghdad. You have to be able to understand what you're being asked, otherwise these four sentences will just sound like random facts about whatever the topic is. We are not choosing the fact that we find most interesting. We are not condensing those uh, bullet points in any particular way. Um, we are not thinking about gr grammatical structures here. This is purely about the SAT asking for something and us just giving them what they want. So think about that, but also make sure you save time for this these kinds of questions, because as you saw, this was pretty easy. You wouldn't want to run out of time here. This is an easy way to boost your score. It's just making sure you save a couple of minutes at the end to answer these outline questions.